Oh Christmas, please tell me what's better than just sitting in front of the campfire, all warm and cosy, and then overpaying for a Z690 motherboard. Because even though the fire behind me may be fake, my desire to make even more videos on Z690 boards isn't. And today's overpriced board is a Z690 Aorus Pro from, well, Aorus and Gigabyte. And on the surface, you'd be forgiven for thinking this is just a Z690 Aorus Elite, because they do look pretty similar. I mean, just look at them. But you'd also be forgiven for thinking this is the exact same board, because even the overview pages on Aorus' website for both these boards are word for word the same. So it is literally just the same board, but one that Eros is selling for upwards of $330? I mean, no, there are a few differences, but probably ones that aren't gonna be worth that much extra to you, I guess depending on your priorities. Anyway, let's play some spot difference then. One of the first things you probably notice is a bit of a change in the top right. Can't see it? Let's zoom in a bit further. You see it now? In the Pro Board, you have a debug display, which gives you useful error codes for, well, troubleshooting a motherboard. Those are always really, really useful, so it's great to see they are here. Even if most users won't really care that much, tinkerers or people who are unfortunate enough to have to troubleshoot the system will find these useful. Now let's move on to the VRM situation. And on the surface, again, it may look like these are identical. And well, they are, but mostly. Because while the Z690 Pro uses the same 16 plus 1 plus 2 power phase configuration like the Z690 Elite, however, unlike the power phases on that board, which operated at 60 amps, the ones here operate at up to 90 amps. So even though both boards have 16 power phases going to the CPU, this board will be a lot better when it comes to overclocking and also supporting much more power hungry CPUs like the 12900K and the alleged 12900K S which is apparently coming soon. And if you want to learn more about that mysterious ship then definitely check out my video on it, it's going to be up in the iCards. But another interesting thing is that they refuse to move on from a 8 plus 4 pin setup when it comes to CPU power. Because even more budget boards the generation, like the MSI Pro Z690A, do have two full 8 pins for the CPU. So it's strange that Aeoros kind of refused to do it on any of the more budget boards here. Most of the differences in this board lie in the rear I.O., where Gigabyte's addiction to giving us as much USB connectivity continues. Because compared to the already extremely impressive and really useful 9 USB Type A ports present on the Elite, here on the Pro we have 12. Let that sink in. 12 USB Type A ports on a consumer board. I mean, if anyone watching this really still thinks this isn't enough for their use case, please, please tell me in the comments below what on earth you do that requires so many USB ports. However, this USB superiority doesn't come without compromises, because for whatever reason, most of the boards this generation only have mic in, line out, and optical. In the year of our Lord 2021, that is just not acceptable, like at all. We've been doing fine with five audio jacks and one optical for over a decade now, so I have no idea why Gigabyte and Aeorus think they can get away with having just three of these. Another thing that is killed off on this board just to squeeze in more USB is the HDMI port for integrated graphics. With integrated graphics becoming less and less, well, awful, and with more people having to use integrated graphics because of the GPU shortages, having these options is extremely important. So it's super disappointing that it's scrapped it here. But hey, at least we have integrated Wi-Fi. That makes it all worth it, right? Right? Yeah, it totally doesn't make it worth it. Anyway, apart from all of that, the other key difference is when it comes to memory. Because while the Elite board claims to support memory of up to 6000 megahertz on the DDR5 side, the Z690 Aorus Pro promises to support XMP profiles going as far as 6200 megahertz. Or oh, yes, mega transfers, because I know I'm going to have at least one comment correcting me on that. So at least on this board, you do have the peace of mind that if you want to use that kind of lightning fast DDR5 memory that goes to 6200 megahertz or beyond, well, things should be a lot more stable here. So that's pretty much all the things you should care about. And odds are that for a lot of people, all of these improvements won't make the price difference worth it over the Elite. But if you just can't imagine living without this mobile board now, then definitely get it via our Amazon Associates links, which can be up in the iCards and down in the video description below. Because if you use those links to buy this board or pretty much anything else, you don't pay anything extra while we get some the money that gets reinvested straight back into the channel. So it truly does help us, and it's pretty much a win-win for everyone. Also, if you want to help support the channel in other ways, we have a merch store and also our Patreon. And if you give just one single dollar a month on my Patreon, it truly goes a long way while you also get some awesome perks yourself. And also to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, 
Williams, Ryan, OKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Comic Age Clothing. Thank you guys so, so much. Support truly goes a long way. Down you're also going to find our Discord server. If you want to talk to me, or that this or what else, really, plus I know some social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's so. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.